clicked over to the top of the hour here. So I'd like to welcome you all uh, to this webinar on leading the digital supply chain, an executive program uh, in collaboration with uh, SMU Cox School of Business uh, and uh, the Digital Supply Chain Institute. I'm Dave Kurz, I'm a uh, research fellow at DSCI, the Digital Supply Chain Institute, and also a uh, professor in the management department at Drexel LeBeau. Um, I'd like to introduce you as well to my colleague, Amit Bissou, uh, professor uh, in the, um, and the chair of the management department, management information sciences department at Cox School of Business. Uh, Amit, say, say hello to folks. if you're unmuted. Uh, so uh, we have uh, a program this morning yes. designed to, oh, hello, Amit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hello, everyone, and good morning, and welcome to this webinar. Thank you, thank you. So uh, the, the two of us really wanted to share uh, a few things about this program with you this morning. Uh, so I'm gonna, going to advance uh, our slide here so we can take a look at uh, our objectives. So, the objectives this morning, we want to uh, talk about supply chain leadership and why, why supply chain leadership now. Uh, obviously, we have a, a, a crisis situation going on, not just in supply chain, uh, but in many aspects of, uh, of our lives. Uh, so we want to address directly uh, why supply chain leadership uh, is something we, we need to be talking about and learning about at this stage, implications around that, and uh, basically uh, what we feel is a leadership imperative uh, driving uh, need for change uh, in supply chains to be able to meet the needs of, of customers uh, and uh, Im improve or at least uh, help our organizations uh, survive this situation. Uh, so to do that, we want to describe a little bit about the program. Uh, so what is this program we've developed uh, and what would it look like and how would it help you? in your organizations uh, and in your careers right now. Uh, so that's really the, the point of the program itself. Uh, and then to that effect, uh, what program outcomes should you expect? Uh, and we wanna be able to give some time over in this 30 minute webinar uh, to answer any questions that you might have uh, about the program itself. Uh, so with that, uh, let's kick things off again. Welcome everyone um, to this webinar and uh, so I think uh, when we were planning this webinar, we realized uh, that, okay, we've got a little bit of feedback from uh, maybe one of our panelists that might need to uh, mute themselves, but uh, uh, that uh, companies are really in a, in a tough situation right now. And uh, maybe uh, Amit, could you share a little bit of your thinking about uh, the, just the current environment that uh, at leaders and organizations, supply chain leaders in particular, uh, what what, in, what uh, are your thoughts on the the environment that we're facing right now? Absolutely. Yeah. Frankly, if anybody in a management role in any company in the United States was not uh, familiar with the term for supply chain management, I think they are today. I mean, this this uh, current crisis has really brought to the fore the enormous challenges that companies face, not just in terms of uh, producing what products they make and even what services they provide, but uh, having done so, how they, they reach their markets. It, it, a, a great example of, of the challenges is, is as we look at companies like Ford and GM trying to get to where they can restructure their, uh, their processes to make ventilators instead of automotive products. Uh, everybody thinks about, we certainly realize uh, the challenges of uh, restructuring the assembly line, but there's also enormous challenges in terms of the, 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 the resources, the components, et cetera, that, uh, that go into a different product line or even a modified product line. And I think, uh, that those are really important challenges in these times. Um, and then one other th sort of thought that is gonna be interesting how it plays out over the next few months is that we might in fact see um, over the next few months and even years, a potential drift uh, in terms of uh, supply chain and, and, and uh, firm strategies towards greater levels of vertical integration. 
which would be a, a, a huge change from the trend over almost the past half century. So I think these are these are enormous changes that that will uh, impact companies both big and small. And I think uh, it's a very timely uh, topic for a management discussion today. Absolutely. And uh, so again, disruptions uh, everywhere in the supply chain, uh, really straining leadership, I would say, uh, in many ways. So we uh, felt that uh, developing a supply chain program, not just focused on the technical aspects of it or the, the digital aspects of it, but really the, the leadership and organizational challenges that go along with some of these, these challenges, these issues, uh, would be very timely and needed. Uh, so there are lots of reasons why we need a program. Uh, for some of you that are joining us, uh, maybe and you have not uh, had the chance to experience uh, Digital Supply Chain Institute and some of its work, uh, uh, maybe uh, wondering what we mean by the digital supply chain. So uh, very quickly, just to set the stage, when we say leading the digital supply chain, we're talking about a supply chain that is focused on the front end, the customer side. Uh, it's customer centric uh, and that it uses new sources of information and data to try to really improve performance of the supply chain, uh, but at the same time, it lower its cost. So it's, it's that, that nirvana, the intersection of improving customer satisfaction, getting things that they want, customers need and want uh, when they need it, but doing it at a, at a cost that's more managed. Um, and in some cases uh, under the current environment, just getting it to them uh, with, uh, without losing um, money. So really digital is one of the key frames for how uh, we have been thinking of improving supply chain performance uh, for some years, uh, but it requires leadership. It requires changes. Uh, when we look at what some of the leading thinkers and, and writers have been saying about digitalization of supply chains, uh, it's really the organizational side of the transformations that have been most problematic for many organizations. Many times they're uh, neglected or postponed. Uh, we realize that supply chains, and more than ever, I think right now, supply chains are really uh, showing how complex they really are, how integrated they are around the world. Uh, they're, they're technical, they're social, uh, and to improve them and change them, it requires uh, much more than just technical expertise. It requires leadership uh, and the ability to create collaboration across uh, different sides of the organization. We've, we found that there has not been a lot of focus on the people side. However, uh, many firms say that this is key and really important. Uh, so we're trying to find a way uh, to really focus on the people side and recognizing that it's the organization's needs uh, that are really uh, around integrating uh, technology, uh, management of data and information, uh, the people and the organizational side, and then at, at, the, at all times managing the risk uh, as well. So to, to meet these needs, we've uh, developed a program uh, that we recognized right away had to be practical. It has to uh, do more than just teach theoretical leadership concepts uh, or theoretical opportunities. We have to make it practical. Uh, we have to make it front facing uh, and, uh, and integrated across different functions, recognizing that supply chain is not just about uh, one function, but it's about the, uh, the enterprise uh, and integration alongside of sales and marketing and product development as well. Uh, how that cross-functional aspect of improving the supply chain is so critical, uh, and then developing solutions that are uh, advancing um, our ability to meet those customer needs uh, at lower costs. Uh, so we feel that a, a program like this, not being theater, theoretical, but really focused on results, uh, we're going to try to bring together experts from uh, the Digital Supply Chain Institute, as well as some of the terrific faculty uh, from uh, our colleagues uh, at SMU, uh, Cox. Uh, so uh, we'll focus on how to really uh, develop these, these strategies, these plans uh, that will help you advance your own organizational needs uh, around supply chain. Uh, we need to uh, quickly advance uh, some of these challenges. 
uh, forward. So we'll develop, we'll focus on those capabilities. So what does the program look like? Uh, and uh, so I'd like to just describe what the overall design of the program looks like. What would this experience actually be for you as a participant in this program? Uh, and I, I want to start by saying right away that we recognize completely that uh, an in-person uh, one-day program uh, at uh, the SMU campus uh, in June uh, may, uh, may not be possible. So uh, we're focused on uh, creating two experiences uh, and we'll make a decision very soon, probably in mid-April, about uh, which, which version of the program uh, we'll be running, but we are ready and able to deliver an in-person experience uh, focused on um, an online uh, opening module uh, and an online closing module, but uh, really with this in-person uh, experience. Uh, we're hopeful that, that uh, this is a possibility, uh, but uh, recognize completely it may not be, so we have a, uh, a virtual version, an online version of the exact same program with the, the same outcomes planned uh, that would be uh, a 100% virtual program. Uh, so uh, I would like to focus on the content of the program now uh, and just recognizing that the delivery method of the, of the course, of the program, uh, we'll have to make a call on that probably by mid-April uh, about which way we go. But either way we go, we're going to be talking about um, these topics. So uh, let's, let's jump in and, uh, and describe what this program is all about. Uh, so the first, of, first of all, we want to level set with our participants. What is the digital supply chain? What uh, does it look like in your organization right now? A little bit about the maturity level of your own organization. What are the opportunities uh, and challenges that it, it poses for you? Uh, then we want to focus on the demand side of the equation. I mentioned earlier that digital supply chain is about meeting customer needs. Uh, we've talked at, at length recently in our research about what is a, the, the, the new demand that is being created by customers and, and how do we meet that? How do we adapt our supply chains to meet new expectations of customers? Uh, and, how, and how does supply chain leadership uh, become more involved uh, in delivering uh, better performance by understanding demand and data more effectively. Uh, we also recognize that we have to focus on talent. So talent planning. Uh, what are the new needs and skills that we have in our organizations uh, to be able to execute on these integrated uh, ideas uh, around digital supply chain? Technology obviously is a huge important, hugely important part of this, uh, this equation. So we'll look at the technology enablers uh, from a strategic perspective and a planning perspective, uh, not just on the technologies themselves, but how they can actually improve uh, performance, uh, maybe unlock new business models, new value. Uh, and then risk, uh, it, not just risk itself, but how risk management can, can open up opportunities and create some competitive advantage. Uh, the outcomes of this uh, are very clear. We want you to develop action plans. We, we don't want this just to be a learning program for the sake of learning. We want it to be actionable. We want to help you develop new management practices. We want to, we want to help you develop insights about how data and analytics could deliver uh, new value for your supply chains, unlocking that value. Uh, look at how new technologies might be applied to create new business models that supply chain supports to create competitive advantage. Uh, and then focus on the leadership aspects of creating collaborative uh, supply chain. Those are really the actions, but the outcomes should be action plans for you in your organization, not just uh, the idea of an action plan, but actual plans that you could use to advance uh, your own function, uh, your own organization, and perhaps even your own career uh, in digital supply chain. Who is it for? Well, uh, certainly if you're involved in supply chain transformation, if you're a leader of supply chain transformation, then 
then we need you in this course. You know, this is, uh, we need folks that are uh, actually dealing with this, that can bring their experience and collaborative learning to this program. Uh, if you're in charge of a function, uh, like plan, source, make, or deliver, uh, or are or leading aspects of those functions, we need you in this course because we, we want those perspectives coming from plan, source, make, and deliver. Uh, and we need senior managers uh, as well as folks that are involved in functions uh, other than supply chain, uh, recognizing that uh, supply chain is not just a, an island in, in and of itself anymore. It's actually integrated across uh, the enterprise. So people that are involved in sales and marketing and finance uh, that uh, maybe are impacted by something like demand planning, uh, global demand planning, uh, where we need you in this course as well. So we want to create a learning opportunity for people in organizations to uh, really uh, be coached through each one of these different frames, these different modules, and come away with action plans uh, that they can then bring back to their organizations and, and make some impact. Uh, so I'm going to pause here for a second. I just want to make the point that this course uh, is ready to be delivered in this format with an online upfront module, uh, a one day in person experience uh, on site at SMU uh, with a dinner the night before, uh, a collaborative uh, experience together, uh, and then a follow up online module, as well as, and uh, we all hope uh, that things uh, improve quickly, uh, but by mid-April, we'll make a decision of whether we deliver this version, which is an online version uh, of six modules delivered uh, about once a week uh, in 90-minute segments with some, some work in between. Same audience, same content, uh, different format, uh, but uh, basically delivered in a way that we can stay remote, we can stay uh, in our homes if we have to, uh, but uh, still learning collaboratively and learning powerfully. These will be uh, online modules that are uh, live using this type of platform technology uh, where we'll meet 90 minutes a week, uh, but then you'll have a chance to do some uh, own your own work uh, in between those modules. So let me take a pause here and just say that if you do have questions about the program design or our, our plans around this, please go ahead and use that, uh, the, the Q&A function, uh, the chat function, uh, to uh, communicate with us and let us know uh, what questions you might have. Uh, so uh, we do have one question that came in, so let's take that quickly. This is from Teo. Uh, thank you, Teo. Uh, this is uh, given the recent developments around the world, not notably the widespread shutdown of retail, what would be some suggestions for B2B players to enable B2B or integrate with customers uh, to enable B2B to see via e e-commerce? E well, Teo, I don't think we can answer that question on this program webinar right now, but that is exactly the kind of question that you could bring to a program like this and actually try to uncover action plans for uh, the answers that would be useful for you and your organization. So that's a terrific question. Uh, and I think it, it, the answer to that would be very dependent upon what uh, organization you're in, the context and your competitive environment and uh, capabilities. Uh, but uh, I'm glad you asked that because it, it is exactly the kind of question that you would, we are encouraging and asking our program participants to bring to the program so that they can apply this knowledge uh, to, uh, to that kind of a, a strategic question and bring, it, bring answers back to their company. Yeah, uh, Dave, I can, if I can jump in here for just a of moment. Of course, thank you, uh, I was about to ask you too. I, I think Theo's question is a great one. And, and as it turns out, we're actually, we, we will uh, in the program bring, um, you know, into the discussion, some some recent research we have done on how essentially B two B companies can use technologies such as social media, IoT, and mobile.
to reach through the, 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 the value chain, the supply chain, and, and engage with consumers and, and, and leverage that for whether it's B2B to C or even other business models. So there's a lot of interesting stuff happening with regard to you know, leveraging digital technologies to uh, restructure the, the value chain. And, 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 and certainly that'll be part of the discussion. Terrific. Th thanks, Amit. Uh, and Venkai has a question about uh, what readings are recommended. And uh, so I would, uh, <laughs> I would say, again, that's a terrific question. Uh, we're researchers at the DSCI as well, of course, as uh, Amit and his uh, faculty. Uh, so one place you can take a look uh, initially is in, on the Digital Supply Chain Institute website, uh, which uh, we, we, uh, I have the contact information for. I'll share with you in a minute. Uh, and there are some uh, white papers, many white papers and tools uh, can kits there that you can take a look at uh, that can help you in your uh, digital supply chain education journey. Um, it also looks uh, like uh, in industry sector benefits from adopting industry 4.0 technologies, we'll call that digital supply chain technologies. Uh, so, Ahmed, I'll ask you that one. So uh, one attendee is asking if you feel there are certain industry sectors which may benefit from a digital supply, digital strategy uh, over another. Well, I, don't, I, I think it's not as much uh, that there's specific industries that will benefit from them, but rather that different industries will benefit in different ways. So uh, it's in, in, in some cases, it may be, uh, you know, very significant in terms of upstream interactions, in terms of sourcing. In other cases, it may be more in terms of uh, demand planning and and uh, tapping into new and emerging markets. So I, I think I think if there's no single industry that's going to be, you know, ahead of everything else or or or, or unique in that sense, I think it, it's it's the, the effects are are and and the potential impact is very broad but it will be in, indeed different and part of what i guess the the program will do is help uh people develop action plans that are specific to their industry and priorities great Th thanks Amit. and then uh here's another question how much time will the online version take each week i think that's a great question so it, uh, it's a little bit more than the 90 minutes uh for the actual live sessions uh, each week. Uh, so we would be asking participants to budget uh, maybe another hour in addition to the 90 minutes. Uh, so uh, we, we designed it th that way so that you could do this program and still keep uh, the keep things rolling in your job, right? So this is not a full-time uh, course. We're, we're trying to spread it out over a number of weeks uh, so that you could experience the online collaboration together uh, but then maybe do a little bit of work on your own, do some readings uh, and uh, investigate some of these issues. And of course, develop your action plans for your own digital supply chain um, ideas. Uh, so uh, about uh, two and a half hours a week would be the answer to that question. Um, uh, one more, uh, maybe Amit, uh, your thoughts on this one as well. So I'm a functional leader in sourcing. Is this program relevant for me? Uh, so if I'm, uh, is how do we address the the integration across the functions? Um, how, what are your thoughts on that, Alan? Well, I think uh, partly from taking this uh, sort of the the the, the, the demand pull perspective, uh, that implicitly I, I would imagine uh, you know brings in multifunctional perspectives and priorities into the supply chain planning and, and execution process. So, so I, I, th I think, uh, again, kind of goes back to w where somebody lies in that, both the internal value chain of the company and the larger value system, uh, you will find that depending on what your priorities are and what your functional role is, uh, there will be different opportunities to, to leverage the, the program. Yes, 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 absolutely. And uh, I would emphasize to add to what Amit was saying that this, it's most important to realize that these are collaborative executive education programs. So you're not an isolated individual. Uh, you're actually part of learning teams uh, that are collaborating with, with each other. Uh, we have some participants already signed up for the program that are coming in pairs from their own organizations. Uh, and they'll be able to uh, maybe work together 
as well as work with other people in the group uh, as we go through this experience to try to uncover where there are opportunities um, to collaborate across functions most effectively. But for sure, it's not just about one function. It's about that, that um, the beautiful idea of integration. You know, it's a great idea. How do we execute it? Well, turns out that leadership is one of the key aspects of making that actually work. Um, so that's, that's, again, why the program is, uh, is trying to focus on the leadership aspects. Um, so and, and Dave, uh, if yeah. I can jump, jump in again, I, I think uh, in, in terms of bringing in multiple people, I, I, I think when you get into uh, digital strategy, there's an implicit interaction between technology and functions. And so uh, it's also not a bad idea to have folks who can have some conversations even during the program uh, within the context of specific companies as to that, that interplay that'll happen as you look at supply chain innovation. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're winding down here. I wanna make sure that we, if we get any more questions coming in, uh, we wanna answer them about the program itself. Um, I won't go through the details of the program we have for each one of these modules. We have uh, areas that we would focus on uh, where you would be able to answer certain key questions about new sources of information, um, practical ways that your team could, could implement those ideas. Uh, in the talent side, it would be uh, how to create uh, that new um, source of talent that could improve your company's uh, ability. Your talent brand is something we've been focusing on and developing plans that can really uh, tackle those new skills. Uh, in technology, we want to try to help our participants really understand which technologies are most effective for what type of segment they're dealing with. Not just broad questions about it, but more specifics about uh, the technologies and data uh, that you could use to improve your supply chain performance. Uh, and then uh, with, uh, of course, risk. Risk management practices uh, must be updated uh, as we become more digital and more there's more sharing of information and data across the value chain. Uh, so we want you to be able to emerge from the program with an updated digital risk assessment uh, and maybe some new processes to go along with it. Uh, and then finally, ending on this idea of your action plan. So you're going to be uh, looking at an action plan that will help you be a more effective leader uh, in your organization around change and transformation, uh, especially during this time of crisis, uh, and then help you really think through what your role might be in the transformation effort and how you can apply the principles um, of the course. Uh, so that's, that's it uh, in a nutshell. Uh, we have, uh, we're running out of time in this particular webinar, but we want to encourage you to keep thinking about this experience uh, and uh, send in your questions. Uh, you can send in your questions to the following contacts uh, here. Uh, we've got uh, the dsciinstitute.org has a source for information uh, to find out a little bit more about the research that we've been working on. Uh, and then uh, Lisa Tran here at uh, SMU also can help uh, you with questions about information um, or if you'd like to enroll in the upcoming course. Uh, so thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, I want to make sure uh, you understand that we're ready to go uh, with this course regardless of uh, what the situation is. We recognize that these are challenging times in supply chain uh, and in organizations. So, so uh, we want to create an experience that's relevant, will drive uh, performance improvement, give you confidence uh, to really take a seat at the table uh, in, um, in driving transformation in your own organizations. Uh, so we'll keep it practical, we'll keep it on target, and uh, really uh, looking forward to hearing from you guys if you have any questions at all uh, about the program. Uh, or about the experience. Uh, and we'll keep you up to date uh, on um, the decision about uh, going online, full online, um, or face-to-face. -face. The team involved in this course is very experienced in both formats. Uh, we're very comfortable. We love face-to-face, -face, we love online. We think that they both have their strengths. Uh, and uh, we'll make sure that the uh, program experience really takes advantage of whichever platform uh, we go forward with. Um, so with that, um, 
I'll say goodbye. Uh, Amit, uh, any closing thoughts as we uh, wrap up uh, this, uh, this afternoon's webinar? I, I think uh, you did a great job, Dave. I just want to mention that uh, you know, our goal is to combine the great ideas and framework coming out of the Digital Supply Chain in Institute with uh, thought leadership uh, based on our research here at the Cox School. I think it'll make for a good, great combination in terms of value add. Yeah, terrific point. And uh, it, the combination is something special. So the fact that we've got uh, this terrific faculty, world-class faculty from SMU Cox, uh, combined with uh, the uh, industry research side of the SCI, we think that creates something very special. Uh, so uh, looking forward to hearing from you all. Um, we need, we need a, a, a great cohort for this program, uh, and we're looking forward to working with you all. So um, have a great morning or afternoon, wherever you are, and stay safe. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.